one watch. How's it going guys? Welcome to Fatberg. Today I have a reaction video for you to something that I have never actually seen uncensored before, despite it being a pretty, um, I'm gonna call it popular video. Uh, <laughs> I don't think any of these things are like mainstream popular, but this one got around. It's certainly not a two girls, one cup where all your fucking buddies were watching it for fun, but we're gonna be watching the, um, the Russian lathe accident, and I don't want to, to be honest with you. <laughs> I actually don't. Like, I'm not just saying that. This is something I have avoided for a while. I have seen it censored, and uh, it looks extremely fucking brutal. And I did see the aftermath photos, which we'll go over as well, but I've never seen the uncensored, just full footage of it, and I'm going to watch it for you in the spirit of safety, because uh, I, I actually work in a factory, I run a CNC mill, and, you know, safety is something that comes up all the time, at least here in the U.S., and um, I guess just in the spirit of uh, emphasizing the point that these things can really fuck you up. Uh, <laughs> so, if you're not familiar with what a lathe is, uh, it's essentially a industrial spinning device. It will have a tool or a blade attached to it that will remove material from typically like a cylindrical piece of metal, you know? And there's different kinds. There's CNC lathes, in which case you just kind of load it up and you don't really do much anything. You just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't fuck itself up or fuck the part up. And there's manual ones where you actually need to be, you know, more so directly involved in its operation. I'm not sure what we're dealing with in this video here, but the operator made a critical mistake. He puts his hands in the line of fire in the, you know, operation point of the device. And on top of that, he's also wearing, like, baggy clothes, and uh, it he gets caught in the machine. With with any device like this, the first, like, thing you need to be careful of is just what you're wearing. The shit gets caught in these machines and you just get fucking pulled in them. They're so powerful. And I think it's something a lot of people forget, like, with cars, for instance. Like, if a car hits you, you're getting destroyed. The human body is not meant to go up against machinery. Now, this happened in Russia in, like, the winter or something, so it's not entirely his fault. It doesn't appear to be, like, a like an air-conditioned environment or whatever. He was trying to stay warm. What was his fault is reaching over the machine and getting pulled into it. Now, I I've heard some people say that, like, these machines are just cheap and that's why they, they use them and they're not safe, but that's not entirely true. There, there are safer options to do this kind of work, but... They can be just as safe as anything. There's a lot of things that can be put in place to make sure something like this doesn't happen. You know, you have e-stops. There should be somebody in the room with you to activate an e-stop if you get pulled into it. And then there's things like uh, like light curtains where uh, essentially it's like if you reach into the operation point of the machine, it cuts it off. It stops everything. Nothing like that seems to have been in place here. And this guy... I don't know if he was undertrained or maybe just became complacent with his job and figured out, ah, I'll fucking reach over or whatever. I've done this a hundred times, so it's fine. It's never fine. And it, he gets fucking obliterated from what I've seen. Again, I've never seen the, the footage uncensored. I have it downloaded here, and I'm going to watch it. And uh, I'm just... Uh, I'm not looking forward to it. Let's take a look at it and see what we can uh, glean from it here. Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't know if this has any audio. Okay, let me mute this, because it does have audio, but it doesn't appear to be related to the video. Okay, so right there, he reaches over it, pulled in. Jesus. So at this point, he, he's being shredded. He's being ripped around. And he's just, he's getting spread across the room. Is the only way I could describe it. Matter of seconds. His buddy runs over, hits the east off. He was too far away to respond in time. 
he's he's just in a panic. He knows that like his buddy's done. He's trying to kind of gather himself. It looks like a, like a manager or somebody has walked in. They're kind of taking a look at what has happened, and the video ends. Okay. So, the video is not the highest quality. It doesn't need to be. I watched this uncensored, and you can make out the uh, the whole ordeal just from fucking pixels. He, he gets strewn across the room. So, he gets pulled in initially, and uh, it's hard to tell if he dies right away. He may have been knocked unconscious. He may have been pretty much fine and just had his arm caught in the machine because the machine spins up, grabs him, and then stops for a second. And then it fully kicks in its cycle. And at that point, he's just, he is wrapped around a pipe. A whole human being just gets wrapped around a pipe and thrown across the room. If you're not familiar with the video, that's rough. Again, uh, he's reaching over the equipment for some reason. And I can't tell if this is a manual machine or an automated machine, but there, I, there's no reason for him to have reached over it like that. Oh boy. Okay, hang on a second here. So I have the aftermath photos here, and this is like one like high resolution shot from kind of the angle we're seeing the camera almost. And you see like him is gone from the machine, but it looks like all his clothing is wrapped around it. And his arm, God. I can't even tell what that is. Oh, that appears to be his head. It's it's not really recognizable as a person at that point. I'm gonna minimize this. That's that's fucking graphic, dude. That's some of, that's probably one of the goriest things I've seen actually, in terms of just like raw gore. But yeah, maybe some car accidents and things like that. But that's rough. So again, initial mistake is reaching over that machine. You know, like there's no reason to put your fucking hand in the operation point like that. There should be guards and things that just kind of stop you from doing that, let alone stop the machine, but make sure that is not really an option for you. And it could be a training thing, or like I said, it could be just he, he's been doing that for a while and figured it was fine because it always has been. But the fact of the matter is these machines will fucking just obliterate you if they get a hold of you um like even with me like i shouldn't be working around a fucking cnc with this goddamn beard like if this gets wrapped up in the spindle or some shit it's gonna fucking rip my face off like you need to be very careful working around equipment any equipment not even in a factory like if you're running a fucking mower dude you gotta watch what you're doing if you're driving a car that's something we're gonna get into one of these days if <laughs> any machine you need to be careful. I don't care if it's like a fucking fan in your room. Have you ever caught your finger in a fan? That shit sucks. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, every machine has an e-stop. Okay? Every single one. You know where it is? Right fucking there. Don't fuck around with machinery.